Sometimes when using the ease as data recovery wizard to retrieve your files, you may find that the files recovered are corrupt. To find out the cause for this error, we need to first have an answer for this question. How are files stored on a hard drive? Generally, before a hard drive can be used, it needs two processes or formats, the low level format and a Windows format. We all know that data is stored on the surface of a platter. The process of a low level format prepares a drive to hold blocks of bytes. It divides each platter into multiple concentric circles named tracks. Each track is broken up into smaller areas called sectors. A sector contains a fixed number of bytes, such as 512 bytes or 4K bytes. When a file is stored on a hard drive, it holds a directory info and all of its contents. Directory info is defined as an organizational unit. It's like a catalog of a book, which contains the bookkeeping information about the files. After the directory info created, new written data will be organized with a specific rule into the hard drive. File contents are separately written to the data storage area, while file name, timestamp, size info and some other file properties are saved to the directory. When a file gets recovered, only when the two parts directory info and contents are intact will they then be retrieved in their exact original status. But what if any parts were damaged? If both the directory info and data area were damaged or overwritten, you will not be able to find this file at all. It would have been permanently removed from your hard drive. If only the data area was damaged, the file can be found but it will be corrupt after its recovery. You will have an error like this when trying to open it. If only directory info was damaged, the files can still be retrieved, but their original names will be lost. They will be renamed like this in our product. These files are organized and listed under the Guess You Recover option in the Windows version. If you cannot find these files that you need from the original name, you are suggested to pay a visit to this location. With the Mac version, they will be listed under Raw Files and Label Raw Files folders. Also, please do not forget to contact us at support at for any questions. Thank you for watching this video.